what I learned from being involved in it was the reinforcement of the fact that although we're all from different faith backgrounds, we all actually share the same concerns, the same lives. There's far more similarity between us, despite everything you ever seem to read in the press or see in the TV is about the differences between different faiths. There are very few differences. The main basics of life and looking after people are the same for everybody. And it's just reinforced my already existing belief that that is the case. And the topic that interested me on the um, on these occasions was the religious angle as to the life we lead. You know what effect the religions have on the way we conduct ourselves in the, into a society. Mm -hmm. And it is quite heartening to see that by talking to the other people who can understand their religion much better than just reading the books and all that. There are so many misgivings about the other religions and all religions I would like to think is you know they take you to the same same path. I found the most interesting dialogue topic to be sacred architecture. Um, for me sacred space is very important whether it is an altar whether it is in a building or out in nature, for example, in a, a ring of stones. Uh, and I'm always interested in the, the beauty of the sacred spaces that are created through, around the world, from the Gurdwara to the mosque, uh, the different cathedrals, uh, the, the, the stones of our ancestors. Uh, it's all so beautiful. And not just that, but the geometry of it, how it's set up. Is it a five-pointed star? Is there a, an onion dome? Uh, the, the, is, it, is there a cross? Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, I, I like to see what we share and what's different. What I've enjoyed most about taking part in the project is its simplicity. It's not came with our business plan, our first uh, time together. We did one, handed a big giant leaflet to read over. It's very simple, it's just conversation and people talking about uh, their faith or any given subject. It's very, very simple, it's very, very successful, I think, and my hope is, is that when we go back to respected places of worship, prayer, that it's like, you know that story about dropping a stone in it, it's a kind of ripple effect, when we go back and tell our respected communities, how enjoyable the event has been, and maybe next time more people will come along and we can spread the word of the great work that Interface Glasgow are doing in our community. The most thing I've enjoyed in the community meal projects was meeting everyone around the table. You interact with a lot of people you've never met before, which I find very, you should get knowing each other towards your community. Mm -hmm. and. Just meeting everyone, yeah. I think meeting everyone, speaking to them, being uh, all uh, being in the same room, being as one, learning about each other, just being together as a community. The most memorable and enjoyable moment for me, I think, was when I was asked to take part in serving for the Baha'i meal, uh, the meal that the Baha'i uh, community gave as part of the the, um, the, the program, um, and it was the first one that I had attended. Uh, my, my, uh, what I liked most was, was the act of service, of actually making some food, contributing, and then serving people food. So to me, this is very, very enjoyable. But it is also, service is also about sharing. You are sharing. And so for me, um, it's also very symbolic of sharing ideas, sharing thoughts. So that's a meal in itself.